Hello everyone! As we know, low power factors affect your electric power generators, fuel consumption, it consumes more fuels, on alternator windings, your alternator windings will be heated up, it will be also result a full load sharing, synchronization value, parallel operation is also unpredictable, even a power blackout is uncertain. Today, I am here to share with you how to prevent all of this. Please like and share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Now we are going to put parallel generator number 2 And we will see if automatic synchronization will be able to put it parallel Tapos eh, yan ang mga frequency Kaman sa frequency Ngayon siya 60.3 Tapos doon sa baba Sabihin niyo po doon niyo Pag naging 60.3 na dito Puntan mo ako ha
Hello. Now I'm going to show you how to correct a power factor and make a balance load on each generator. For now, I have trouble with the generator number two because it generates 60 hertz and only 443 volts at no load. And I'm going to check the two running generator in parallel connected, one and three, having 60.1 hertz four four six, and the other one have 60.1 four four eight volts. This is a generator number three, having 60.1 hertz four hundred forty seven volts. This is my generator number one, having 60.1 Hz and 449 to 448 volts. At the moment, generator number three have 82, 82.82 power factor with 121 kilowatts and varying up to 117 kilowatts, which is connected on the generator number one. This is generator number one, connected in parallel with generator number three, having 0.7996 kilowatts. Now I'm going to connect generator number two in parallel with generator number one and three on a bus bar. First, we are going to select the synchroscope put on number two as you can see the synchroscope rotating in counterclockwise direction on this situation we have to try parallel it in automatic and you will see what's happening. I will pause the automatic synchronization. If the automatic synchronization will be able to put in parallel generator lamp a generator one entry on a bus bar. Now the synchronizer is able to parallel generator one, two, and three. Now the generator number two is connected in parallel. Now we are, we are going to check the power factor of a generator 2 as you can see the generator number 2 generates a negative 0.92 power factor to negative 0.91 power factor heavy a very low kilowatts 57 kilowatts The generator number 3 generate positive 52 power factor at 51 kilowatts. Since the power factor of the generator number 2 having negative values and we put the synchroscope on the generator number 2 you will observe the rotation of the to be impressed on the field excitation of an alternator. The terminal JNK 
of an automatic voltage regulator pipe BZKUP made by Nishiba have an output 20.6 volts DC this 20.6 volts DC are the voltage to be impressed or applied on the field excitation of your alternator it has been observed that the voltage is low We are going to remove the load on the generator number two. Okay. I will remove first the load on the number two. Okay. 